Tonight, ABC News has obtained video of police raiding a small town Kansas newspaper. The incident raising First Amendment questions. At issue, a tip a reporter received about a story the paper never published. Authorities are defending the raid. Tonight, the newspaper says its 98-year-old co-owner died one day after the raid because of the stress she suffered. More now from ABC's Faith Abube. Right there. Tonight, ABC News has obtained a dramatic new surveillance video of a small town Kansas police force raiding the newsroom of the Marion County record. Now, the heart of a battle over the First Amendment. Officers reading a reporter her rights, snapping photographs, and taking away computers. It's everything you've ever heard in the third world. It really is like we're living in Stalinist Russia or Nazi Germany or Vladimir Putin's Russia. Eric Meyer co-owns the paper with his 98-year-old mother, whose home of 70 years, he says, was also raided Friday. He tells ABC News she died on Saturday, one day after the raid, saying she was too stressed to sleep or eat. She spent eight hours a week working for us, putting together a column of memories. How dare they take the last day of her life and make her filled with, with, with fear and anger. At issue, Meyer says, is a tip one of his reporters received about a local business owner accused of driving illegally. They decided not to publish the story. We notified the police that they told us this. They never responded. Uh, the person who was the target of this then falsely accused the us of illegally obtaining the information. That prompted a search warrant, though federal laws protect journalists from search and seizures and instead require a subpoena. But the chief of the Marion Police Department says in a statement, there are exceptions, like, quote, when there is reason to believe the journalist is taking part in the underlying wrongdoing. The paper denies any wrongdoing and says it won't be deterred. If they think I'm going to give up because they've made it difficult for us to put out a newspaper for one week, they've got another thing coming. In a statement, the Kansas Bureau of Investigation says it has joined an investigation into allegations of illegal access and dissemination of confidential criminal justice information. The KBI says it did not take out those search warrants, was not present when they were served, and believes very strongly that freedom of the press is a vanguard of American democracy. Lindsay. Faith, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.